it's time to go back to school after our Christmas break. And I know like you or like me, you are probably wishing for one more week. The school district near me has that extra week and I can't help but being envious that they get three weeks at Christmas time. But I fail to remind you to read this book to your students as I read aloud. It's by our beloved Dave Barry. It's called The Shepherd, the Angel, and Walter, the Christmas Miracle Dog. And I read this every year to my class. It takes three days to read it. It's, it's just over 100 pages. I start Wednesday, Thursday, and then we finish it up on Friday. And there may be one little section dealing with bras that you might have to skip over depending on your grade level. But but you will love it and your students will love it and they'll notice so many similarities in the writing style from the, uh, the Worst Class Trip Ever. If you haven't read that book for your students, you really must. They will love it. But it is, um, it, it's, it's his story um, taken from the 1960s and you will, you will just, your students and you will love this book. So I'm preparing you for next year to go ahead and get this book. Rather than a teaching tip, to get us going for this uh, next quarter, I decided to just share a few little stories that made me chuckle in the, the week leading up to Christmas break. The first one happened at yard duty when, when Emily said, um, she said, well, you never guess what I found in my laundry basket last night. I found some, one of my students' handwriting papers and we were just cracking up, handwriting paper. She goes, yeah, it gets better. It's from first quarter. And it just made me so happy to know that someone else had lost um, someone's paper. I mean, I hate when it happens, but, you know, sometimes it does happen. And, and in a laundry basket, wonderful Stanley said, how did a paper get in, in her laundry basket? Who knows? Like, who knows how we misplace things in the classroom? Just nobody knows. And then um, the week leading up, you probably had a lot of Christmas programs like we did at our school. Let's see, Monday night was high school, uh, Tuesday night was junior high, and uh, Wednesday night was K-5, and by Thursday, I couldn't get out of bed. And Stanley kept coming and saying, are, are you okay? Are, are you getting up? And I, I can't. I just can't. And he'd leave me and continue with his primping, and then he'd come back around and check, are you getting up? I can't. And by Friday morning, I, I simply could not get out of bed. Um, so I was sharing that as we were walking to, to, the, to the building on Friday morning, and my friend, I, I told Katrina, I said, I couldn't get out of bed this morning. And she said, Deneen, I've been feeling that way since October. Now, she's half my age, and so that just made my day to know that she's been struggling with getting out of bed for, for a while. It's hard. What we do is not easy. And then finally... Um, I bet you do Secret Santa in your classroom, you know, it's a very special time, and we had done all that, had our big Christmas activities, and gone through our 30-minute pickup ritual at the end of the day, and we all trudged back to the hallway, and we kind of gathered there, and we're sharing some stories, and, and our sixth grade teacher, Rachel, she said, well, it took me an hour to do Secret Santa this year. We said an hour, then I remembered she has 31 students, so yes, it's going to take time. And our fifth grade teacher just started busting up. And he goes, well, this is how it went for me. Um, you know, I said, oh, he has cards with the students' names on it. And he picked the first card. It was Samuel. And he said, everybody, we're going to watch Samuel open his, his gift. And, and then it went to, um, okay, now we're going to have this student and this student open their gifts. And pretty soon <laughs> it went to us. We're going to have this student and this student and this student and this student all open their gifts at one time. Oh, the... the you know, I don't know if anybody besides a teacher can really understand the dance that we do to make what happens happen in our classrooms. That's why it's so important that we stick together. And I know that we need more rest time. I know we do, but we don't have it. So um, so I'm, I'm here to tell you we're going to make it. We're going to have a good quarter. We've done it before, and we're going to do it again. And um, it's going to be it's going to be a good week. And I look forward to being with you again next week.